What's good y'all? Welcome to my channel. Welcome to my bathroom. Welcome to my first ever sit down YouTube situation like this. This is, um, I don't know why this is so awkward and weird for me, but it's a little uncomfortable, but it's cool. We're challenging ourselves, we're doing new things. And uh, yeah, this is my first ever YouTube video skincare routine. Okay, so first things first. Three things in this video that we absolutely will not be talking about in the comments, we will not be talking about with our friends in our group chat afterwards. One, my eyebrows. I know they're not done. I know they're not done. I know. Quarantine. And I'm trying my best to not touch them because I know that if I start plucking, it's just gonna get real ugly. Number two, we will not be talking about my lashes or lack thereof. I know. They are real raggedy. Number three, we don't need to talk about my nails. I'm giving major sixth grade flashbacks. Not important. What is important is that we are going to talk about all the products that I use for my everyday skincare routine. I promise to keep this short, sweet, and as entertaining as I possibly can. <laughs> all right, y'all. Let's get it. All right, y'all, first things first on my skincare routine. Typically, I'm not the girl that goes to bed without makeup on. Yeah, yeah, you heard that right. I go to bed with my makeup on. I'm really bad at that, but I'm trying my best to get better. Nine times out of 10, though, I slept with my makeup. And so when I get up in the morning, I gotta use a good old handy dandy makeup wipe. Now this makeup wipe is probably one of the most popular it's inexpensive you can find it everywhere it does a good job they come real juicy in a pack you don't gotta worry about dry wipes which i hate it's the neutrogena i've always wanted to do that <laughs> it's the neutrogena makeup uh remover wipes so yeah i take my wipe and i get anything that's lasting still on the skin from overnight don't know why I'm talking in an accent, but that's cool. Of course. Let's try this. Hey, babe. You didn't hear me calling? No, I'm in the bathroom. I'm in the bathroom. Um, just wanted to give you a heads up. Uh... Babe, can you spit it out? I'm trying to fill my skincare routine. Oh, my bad. Stay on. There's, only, there's a special uh, to-go order. I just want to let you know about that. There's a special to-go order? Yeah, it's like special. It's like, there's a special to-go menu. My hey, mind. hey, can you pause the game? Can you pause the game so you can spit the symptoms out? There's a special to-go menu. That means the risotto, the fish risotto is not on there. Okay, well, there we go. That's vital information. Mm -hmm. What's on the to-go menu? Just, just go on there and look, there's not very much. Empanadas, pizza, and their chicken stuff is basically it. We will revisit this when I'm completed with this mission. Get out. Turn the game off. Goodbye. Love you. I mean, like, only me, right? Only me, that would happen too. Where the heck was I? Oh yeah, my skincare routine. Okay, most important part, obviously, is washing your face. I think that that's the most vital part of any skincare regimen. You have to wash your face. I don't care how great of skin you have, how bad of skin you have, washing your face is key. Makeup wipes are not enough. I repeat, they are not enough. I went to a, like, a dermatologist once and she was like, girl, you're disgusting for just using makeup wipes. <laughs> she makeup wipe shamed me and that's fine because she was telling the truth. Um, okay, so one of my personal favorite face washes that I've been using for years, and I mean years, is this tea tree oil face wash from Trader Joe's. It's less than $20, and it does the job. Um, can I say this too, one point while I'm putting this on, is that the thing about skincare is that you literally don't have to use the same exact products that I use to get the same results. Like, if I've learned anything, it's that Skincare products typically 
are all the same. They just have different price points. They're made by different people. And yeah, in some ways, they are made with better uh, ingredients. You know, less fake chemicals and more real natural ingredients. And those are typically the products that I lean towards. You know, the first thing that I look for in a skincare product is alcohol. If it has alcohol in it, I probably am not gonna use it just because I naturally have dry skin and alcohol is just gonna make it worse. And then of course, you wash the face wash off. I'm not gonna make you wash this part, so I'm gonna, I'm gonna go do that. <laughs> Be right back. Alrighty, now that our face is nice and clean, we've used our makeup wipes, we've used our face wash. Now I'm gonna go in with a little bit of toner. Now, I probably didn't start using toner until a year ago, and that's when I realized that I was really taking my skincare routine seriously because toner is like, this is what toner is like. Have you ever seen those, that show on MTV where they like go into the bedroom, is it a CSI or an MTV show? I don't know, that's besides the point. But the detective goes into the room and he takes the black light and he like scans the black light across the sheets and then all of the disgusting like germs and stains and everything shows up. That is exactly what toner is. Toner is the thing. Smooth. Toner is the thing that shows you how dirty or clean your skin really is. So I'm gonna take my toner, which is Fresh Rose Deep Hydration Facial Toner. Love Fresh products. They really pride themselves on using all natural ingredients, so I love them. So I'm gonna take this toner, I'm gonna put some on a cotton swab or pad, and I'm going to wipe it along my face, all over my face. And what you'll be surprised with is typically on the first go round, you'll still have a bit of dirt on your cotton pad. Even though you've washed your face, even though you know, you've used your makeup wipes, you will still have dirt on there. And as you can see, can you see that little bit of dirt still? Now that we know that our skin is nice and clean, we can literally feel it. We saw it on the cotton pad and yeah, it feels fresh, it feels tight. It feels ready for our next step, which is the exfoliation process. My absolute favorite exfoliator of all time, this bad boy right here. Now let me warn you in advance, <laughs> she's a bitch, okay? Like she's, she's not very nice, she burns a little bit, but that's how you know she's working. She's working hard for you, sweetie. Okay, so it's Kate Somerville Exfoli Kate. Intensive exfoliating treatment. Y'all, I really can't say enough about it. Now, you do wanna make sure that your skin is a little moist when you apply it because it allows you to spread the product around generously and not overuse it. So you're gonna make sure that your skin is damp. Then you're gonna take your Okay. And I'm gonna do about that much. I'm super greedy with my product. They always be like, dime size amount. And I'm like, ah, how about two quarters? <laughs> okay, and then you're gonna apply it in a circular motion all over your face. And what that circular motion does is activates the exfoliation and allows you to rub in those little fuzzy beads that you feel. And that's when it starts to burn, baby. Burn, baby, burn! I'm gonna use a little bit more for my forehead because you know, we got that fire head over here, girl. She needs extra. One thing that I love about this product too is that when you first originally put it on, if you saw my hand, it was green. When you apply it, it's green, but you know that it's done and completed working once it kind of just all uh, dissipates. Did I make that word up? Dissipates or dissolves. See, I be thinking too hard sometimes, you know what I'm saying? If it dissolves in your skin, you are designed. God, I'm just gonna expose how not funny I am and this is why this is a bad idea. <laughs> Anywho, so we're gonna allow our exfoliation treatment to seep into our pores, to activate, to burn a little bit, for like one to three minutes. I usually brush my teeth in between this time period, so maybe I'll do that. Mm -hmm. 
All right, how we looking? How we looking? Now, as you can see, the product is no longer there. That thick white layer is gone. Fun fact that I just recently learned about exfoliating. So I was watching this Pharrell interview. I was on uh, The Shop, LeBron show. And he was asked by Travis Scott, what is the key to looking the exact same age for your entire life. Y'all know that Pharrell is like anti-aging, king of anti-aging. His skin looks like butter. It's just, it's sickening, honestly. But what's more sickening is that he said the key to his skincare routine is exfoliation. Exfoliation and water. That's it. That's it. So if you don't believe me, believe Pharrell. It comes out of his mouth, okay? Exfoliation is the key to keeping your skin refreshed. You could wash your face nine bajillion times a day, but if you're not removing those nasty little, nasty little, dirty little skin cells that are sitting there, you don't make no sense. And now we're gonna move on to the next step of my skincare routine, which is spot treatment. Now I'm not a big acne girl, but when I do get pimples, I get them for real, typically around that time of the month. Um, typically when I eat really badly, which is every month, but when it happens, I have a solution that always works for me. It's this little guy. I apply it one to three times a day. Basically what it does, it dries out your pimples. Um, you can apply it to your whole face, but for me it's a little bit too aggressive. I have rather sensitive skin. So I just use it as a spot treatment. So basically I take it, I apply a little blob to my finger, and I just apply it to wherever I feel needed. So right now, I know you guys see this pimple right here on my forehead. We're gonna apply it there, rubber in. And the instructions tell you to apply one to three times a day. So if you can remember to, you know, lunchtime, your lunch break. Two to three times a day is key. Um, and then if I don't have pimples, but I have trouble areas, which are like my T-zones, I'll go in there and apply it. Do a little on my chin, because sometimes I get little bumpies down there. And then anywhere else I feel fit on my face. And this pimple treatment literally will get rid of my pimples in two to three days. No lie. This is not an ad. They are not paying me. However, if y'all would like to, please do because your product is a little bit pricey. Okay? Okay. Okay, so once that's all rubbed in, we will move on to the next step. So this part of my skincare routine is probably the newest addition. Um, I was in Nordstrom's one day and this lovely African-American woman at the counter was helping me out and I felt like I could really trust her because, well, she has black skin like me. And she was saying that the one overlooked thing by people in my generation is anti-aging treatments. You know, we think that, we think short term instead of long term. And she said the one thing that you absolutely need to protect on your face is your under eye area. That's typically the first place that we show our age. And I'm like, well damn, like that's very true, but what am I supposed to do about it? And so she presented me with this right here, sweetie. Okay, girl, yeah. This is the Charlotte Tilbury. This is the first time that I've ever heard of her products, by the way. She has makeup, skincare, she's pretty dope. Charlotte Tilbury Magic Eye Rescue. It revives, rejuvenates, and smooths to turn back the clock. And then it says it in French. Okay, <laughs> so you'll just take it. And you're supposed to use your ring finger because it's the most delicate and it's also a super delicate part of your face. So you're gonna apply it to your under eye, like so. Bomb. We've already got a little highlightation going on. And let's point that out too. I haven't put anything on my skin to hydrate it, but if you look, you can kind of see even in my nose, that natural highlight happening, which I am addicted to, let me tell you. Okay, 
Next in the hydration station, serum. Now, I am a serum addict. I would put serum on, not would, I do. I do put serum on probably three times a day throughout the day, just whenever I start to feel dry. Once again, I said my skin is super dry, so this is what works for my skin. If you're oily, I would not recommend doing this. It probably is gonna make you break out more. Also, disclaimer, since we're here on the disclaimer point, checkpoint list, I am not a dermatologist, okay, y'all? So this is what works for me, and only me. Please do not come in my DMs ready to crucify me because you done broke out. Okay. So, my very favorite serum that I use right now, and you guys are gonna, you guys are gonna hate me for this because it's so expensive. It's so expensive, it's so ridiculous. Um, but she's so good, she's so worth it. It's La Mer. I know, I know, I'm turned into a skincare snob. This is the La Mer Renewal Oil. Oh my God. You don't need to use a lot, okay? This is the one thing where they're like, a little goes a long way and I'm like, I got it. Because this crap is so expensive. You do not need more than a couple of drops. So I'm gonna apply it to my face all over. Obviously avoid your eye area, which it's almost doing, Lord Jesus. I'm gonna rub in my serum. If you haven't heard of La Mer, it is okay. Do not feel bad, do not feel ashamed. If you can't afford La Mer, I understand, because I hardly can either. If you can't afford it, I'm gonna show you another serum that I really, really love. It is far more reasonably priced, and I use it just as much. So don't feel bad. Once again, remember that skincare is typically universally pretty darn good. I would, I would try to gear yourself towards products that are more natural, but if you can't find them, and if you can't afford them, do what you can with what you can. Okay, sis. Okay, so now we have our serum on. Now you see the glow is starting, right? You see that that's the base glow. Base glow looking good, feeling good. There's nothing that I hate more in this world than feeling dry and ashy, so. This has really been the number one reason why I've dedicated so much time and cared so much about my skincare routine the past, what, two years? <laughs> Not that long. Is because I really have become addicted to the feeling of hydration. Okay, so my face cream is also La Mer. It pairs really well with their serum. You do not need a lot. I literally use probably this. Let's see, I got a little bit too much. I probably use this much. Not a lot. And I'm gonna take it and evenly distribute it around my face. And if you guys haven't noticed, when I put on my products, I do the same motion. Sweeping motion out, around the mouth. Sweeping motion up and out, up and out. My grandma taught me that trick. It's basically supposed to train your skin to go up and back instead of down. Okay. Oh my God. I just realized that this whole time I wasn't putting anything on my neck. <sighs> I have to start all over. I'm just kidding about doing that. It's okay, we're gonna insert a little bullet here and be like, hey, don't be like Kayla. Make sure that you put all of your product that you use, face wash, um, moisturizer, serum, make sure you get your neck because your face and your neck will age at the same time. Do not have a fresh tight face and a 75 year old neck, okay? Okay. Okay, so we're now, we're nice and hydrated. Now, I said that I love La Mer's um, moisturizer, but I'm gonna also include some other moisturizers that I use if I'm not using La Mer, if I've run out, if I don't feel like spending blank amount of dollars on it. These are the products that I also use. I'm gonna list those right here. Or down there in the comment box, I haven't decided yet. We'll figure it out in post. 
All right, well, we've come to the last step of my skincare routine. This is kind of like the one thing that I use to seal the deal, to give me an extra glow, to really give me that deep moisturization that I'm always looking for, and it is called the Midnight Recovery Concentrate from Kiehl's. The bottle says, a replenishing elixir of pure essential oils and distilled botanicals to visibly restore the appearance of skin by morning. So yeah, this is supposed to be used at nighttime, but because I'm a serum junkie, I use it all day long. I mean, for real though, how are you gonna tell me when I'm supposed to put my serum on? Morning, noon, or night, don't matter. Take a like so. I even go as far as to put it over my lips. Full hydration. I mean, if you don't love it, I don't even care because. <laughs> All right, y'all, that concludes my everyday skincare routine. I hope that it was informative and that it lived up to your guys' expectations. I know that my dream in life is to have hydrated skin and this is how I achieve it. So hopefully it will work for you too. Give it a shot. Let me know what you think. Thank you guys so much for watching and supporting me. Make sure to like and subscribe and comment. And hopefully I'll be back with more. I don't know. It was kind of fun. <laughs> Love ya.